So I'm sitting here at the Flying J truck stop, just having a little video chat with the wife. Hey guys. And I got a knock on the door and I didn't know what was going on. Uh, a local group of Sikhs were handing out food to all the truck drivers and they were going around truck to truck to all the drivers that they could find and handing out these bags of food. And it's just a, a, a container of rice, a whole bunch of rice, and this is curry, right? It's curry? I think so, it looks like curry. I can't smell it for you, but. Smells delicious. And uh, also this soup, they gave us soup. And when I sort of, uh, when they insisted, well, they came to the window and I said, well, no, I got food in my truck, thank you. But then no, they insisted that uh, they would like to help out the truckers because uh, a lot of restaurants are closing down and a lot of truckers are, you know, not getting a hot meal. I got a lot of groceries in the truck from the grocery store, but it's not the same as like a home-cooked hot meal that you'd get in a restaurant. But I wasn't complaining, but they, they wanted to treat the truckers here to a, a hot meal. So they brought us all, well, everyone who they could find here, they brought us all a, a home-cooked meal. Tell the good people? I want to know too. I want to know how it tastes. I want to see if you like curry. Uh, let's see. I don't know where to put these guys. I don't know where to put you. Are you up there? No. You can Hold move on. me if you need to. Okay. Alright. Very nice people. Okay. Generous. That's really good. Yeah, that's really good. I like it. A little bit spicy, but not too spicy. Just spicy enough for me. Any more spicy than this, and I don't. I don't like spice very much. But what a nice group of guys. I was in the middle of talking to Britt. We we're just. Well, she had just called. And then I got the knock on the door. I, I thought they were going to tell me that something was wrong or that they wanted me to move or maybe they recognized me from, from YouTube. It happens every once in a while, not too often, but I don't know. I said, oh yeah, there goes another guy. He got he got a meal from them too. Okay, walking across the park. I wonder how many they made. But yeah, when, uh, when, I, when I said that I had lots of food in the truck, they said, no, no, we just want to help out you truck drivers in this time. We know that it's hard for you to find a good, good hot meal and uh, we're just here to pass out food to you guys. And if you come to Canada, if you know anything about Canada, uh, the, in, in the trucking industry, there's a lot of Sikhs. That's sort of their thing. They like trucking just as much as I do, pretty much. And they're very, very nice people and very generous people. And uh, so it makes sense that they would be the ones to show up to the truck stop to uh, with food for the truckers, because most of them are truckers themselves. So. If you guys are watching this, maybe they watch my videos, I don't know. They love trucking. <laughs> if, <coughs> if you meet a Sikh, uh, uh, usually, you know, they wear the big turban and uh, they're from Punjab province in India and in Pakistan and they, they, they come over here. Usually if you meet one on the street, usually either they're a trucker or they know someone who's a trucker. So maybe they watch my videos. If you guys know who it was who was passing out food, at the truck stop in Edmonton in Sher Sherwood Park. I tell them I say thank you. It was really good. Very nice. Hey, you're all happy. I just want to my heart. <laughs> so sweet. Yeah. Nicest people. All right, I'm going to get back to talking to my wife. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, that is good. Mm. Mm -hmm. That made my day. You know, I haven't even vlogged anything today because I've been having kind of a, a down day. Uh, I got that steel delivered off my trailer and uh, now I'm in Edmonton here at the Flying J. I'm waiting to get loaded tomorrow in the morning. And uh, just to have these guys bring me food. What a nice thought. What a nice guy. Nice people you'll ever meet. Nice people you'll ever meet. 
Mm. Yep. I'm a happy trucker. Nice gesture. It was kind of cool that I was on the phone with Britt as it happened, so she got to see it happen. It really warmed her heart. She's. It's it's always nice to see people looking out for uh, their fellow citizens and their other people on the road. And you know, they're probably like I said, they're probably truckers themselves, and uh, they were out with their with their group. I, b I believe that they uh, called that their gathering building. I think they call it a gurdwara. Is that true, or is it a temple? Anyways, I researched it up uh, a while ago because I was very curious and very, very kind, loving people and they always uh, want to make sure that everybody is fed. So, and if you're a truck driver in Canada, you're going to know this. <laughs> So they come from the province, uh, well, originally, they originate in the province of uh, Punjab in India and Pakistan, sort of on the border with Pakistan there. And uh, uh, they speak a language called Punjabi. And it's that music. They also have their own music. You know, it's the music that you always hear. It gets stuck in your head and then you can't get it out. And then I'm walking around the house at home doing that. And it drives Brit nuts, but it gets stuck in your head. It's catchy. <laughs> and, uh, really nice. Really nice. Have you guys been uh, a recipient of any act of kindness on the road or anywhere yet during this pandemic? Has, have you been, uh, have this, has this happened to you? Has someone showed up to your door yet with, with food, hot food, or maybe someone just wanted to help you out, maybe gave you a place to park when there's nowhere to park, or maybe uh, made you a hot meal? Let me, let me know your stories down below in the comment section. Let's spread some positivity today. I don't have much more of a vlog than me sitting back here today, so why don't we spread some positivity with this with this day? Because this has got me in the positive positive mood. Just changed my mood, just like that. And I was already calling my wife because I was feeling a little bit down, and uh, she always makes me feel better. And then this happened. And now I'm feeling great. So, small acts of kindness. This is actually more of a big act of kindness. I mean, someone went through the effort of making this food, and then bringing it here to me really made my day so share share some stories down below in the comment section and you know what maybe if you see some uh see somebody who needs your help in this time especially in this time when everybody is sort of having a hard time we're all in a, in a tough time you know i was having a bad day i was a little down i'm sure you can relate uh these are tough times that we're in right now and it's it's tough for everybody i'm i'm definitely not saying it's just me it's for all of us and you know if we if we're just kind to one another and do ge small gestures like this or bigger ones if you want to you could really go a long way to turning someone's day around like mine got turned around so uh when you go down below to the comment section and read through maybe other acts of kindness that people have seen or heard of maybe we can all sort of take the initiative and do it ourselves and I can pay it forward and think of a way to pass this on and make someone else's day better. I wish they'd come back past you so I could thank them again. I was going to say so I could shake their hands, but we don't do that anymore. But yeah, they came, they were wearing uh, all rubber gloves and uh, uh, all sanitary equipment. They didn't have masks. I think the one guy had a mask, but... Uh, You could tell that they just wanted to help. I'm gonna eat my food now. So I guess I'll go back to editing here. That was a delicious meal. You know, isn't it sad that I was sort of hesitant to accept the kind gesture of food from a stranger? Isn't it kind of sad that sort of in our culture and in our way of life, we sort of question kindness when people are nice to us because it happens so rarely. So when people are actually just honestly trying to be nice and do something nice for you, you sort of question it like, wait a second, what are you doing? What do you get out of this? What do you want from me? Right? When all they want to do is help, help, and just make your day better. 
and learn a lot from people who do things like this. That's why I'm, I'm saying maybe we can all sort of pay this forward. Maybe we can all start doing something nice for someone else. Doesn't matter what it is, maybe it's going to get groceries for uh, an elderly person that you know, or bringing out hot meals to the truckers, or maybe bringing meals to the nurses on the front line and the doctors dealing with the, the patients that have COVID-19. Whatever it is, this world could use a whole lot more kindness like that. It shouldn't be such a surprise when people are nice to you. But unfortunately it is. So why don't we go surprise a whole bunch of people and be nice to them. Short video today, guys. Hope it convinced at least a few of you to pay it forward. I'm going to do my best to do it as well. And uh, we'll see how many bad days we can turn into good days. I'm here uh, just to show you a little bit more than my sleeper. The Flying Jane Sherwood Park, Edmonton, Alberta. And I don't have a load for tomorrow yet, but uh, they said they wanted me in Edmonton for the morning, so I'm guessing first thing tomorrow morning I'll probably get a message and directions of where to go pick up my next load. And then we'll start headed back to the house. And back to the shop. Except no knocking on wood this time. I've been knocking on wood every time I brought it to the shop. Hasn't worked. We're not going to knock on wood this time. We're just going to... I don't know. I have no idea what we're going to do yet. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous. But, you know, it's an old truck. It's an old truck. Uh, it's, still, it's still been a lot cheaper than payments on a new truck. So I'm, I'm not at the point where it would have been cheaper to have a new truck yet. So that's good. And uh, I know everyone else is also having a rough time right now, so it's not just me going through hard times. So uh, it doesn't make me feel good knowing that everybody's going through hard times and unemployment is soaring through the roof right now. And, you know, I'm just happy to be able to still work, still have a job. And uh, we'll see where life takes all of us. We're all in this together, all of us. So uh, meet me back here on my channel tomorrow for a new vlog and we can figure out what our next load is going to be. We can all go pick it up together and head on home together. I'll be home for a few days yet uh, when I get home. Uh, not too sure. Uh, we'll talk more about that tomorrow. I'm too tired to know what's going on. Time to hit that.